Hello everyone, it's Kim here and thank you for joining me for this month's challenge. This month, February of 2018, we are inspired by a quote from Lord of the Rings, which I will put up on the screen now. The first thing that came to mind for me uh, is jewelry or sparkly things. So having made some jewelry recently for Christmas gifts for people, I thought maybe um, I would show you how I, well actually a bunch of different ways to make not just jewelry but other things that um, work for um, poor art or using our drippings or uh, acrylic skins. So here's a few that I made um, that didn't end up being sold or given away and I thought I'd show you them to start with and just sort of give you an idea of um, what can be done. showed you were made from this which is Yupo, Yupo paper. Looks like this. Comes in a pad and it's got a very uh, plasticky feel. I don't know exactly what it's made from but works really well. Uh, I uh, ordered some stuff from AliExpress, I believe it's called in Canada, or Alibaba, and just received a bunch of it. I'll put some links below for anybody that's interested, but this is a um, wine cork, which um, I think is kind of cool. And I got two different sizes. This one doesn't look, it's got these kind of, I guess, flaws in the area, but I, I don't think there'll be a problem. We'll find out, I guess. So, yeah, there's two different sizes of those. And I got these little compacts. which open up, they have little mirrors inside. And these actually came with the top. So I'll show you how I'm going to make this work. Okay, so I thought I would start with the um, compact and I'm going to give it a bit of a clean first to make sure that there's nothing, no oils or anything on it. So I'm just giving it a spray with um, alcohol. already has a sticky backing so I'm just going to decide what I want to use. Kind of like this area in here. Now, I just need 
to figure out how I'm going to attach it. I have been using, for the most part, glossy accents. This stuff is the bomb. And that's basically it. Now this compact I thought would be cool because it's got a mirror on both sides. But I thought maybe I could make some lip balm or um, you know some kind of homemade product to put inside there. I like it. Okay, so these little heart pendants um, are sort of a similar idea to this one. And If you don't have Upo paper, you can use your acrylic skins. I just find it's a little trickier to work with, although um, when you have these glass um, cabochons, it does make things a little bit easier. Um, I store my skins on deli paper, uh, not wax paper, deli paper, which is different. and. Um, I've had this for months and it's still quite flexible and it's not stuck to the paper so that's a great way to store them. So um, it's just basically the same concept. Um, find a place, a uh, spot that you like and um, glue your little glass piece down. I'm going to use Stickles, which is a um, glitter glue, and this one is Stardust, which is uh, fairly clear. So I'm going to use this as my glue. I have yet another way to use your pores, your rejected pores, I guess, um, for other things. So this was a pour that I did on a panel, on one of these panels. I've learned that these panels don't work so well for pouring because they warp big time. So you can flatten them out, but it doesn't work out very well. At least I haven't found a, a good a method that works real well. So what I did with this one is I basically removed it from the card backing by taking a uh, an exacto knife and just going around the edge and then peeling away. And then what happened was there was a sort of a layer of uh, cardboard left behind. So took a bit of picking to get it off. A bit of I sprayed it with um, water to get it wet and then you know just basically peeled away at it and then I found out that if you spray with alcohol it works a lot better so I used this 70% uh, alcohol 
rubbing alcohol 70 percent and it worked a lot better so anyway i got all the card off the back so now i'm left with a um just a piece of painted canvas so as you can see i tried to use my circle punches and they work so this is good news because i happen to have a whole bunch of different sizes of circle punches and have figured out that I can use them to punch out circles that are the right size. So back to my little um, wine corks. I have circles that fit into these so I'm going to punch them out of this canvas glue them down and then give them a top coat of something. I'm thinking resin, but I'm not 100% certain of that yet. So let's see how this first step works before I uh, get too ahead of myself. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is uh, this bracelet, which I think is very cool. I really like it. And it's going to look awesome with a little piece of port painting in that circle. So I've chosen this. I'm going to use some of the grays and blacks with maybe a touch of pink. I thought that would look kind of nice. And I believe this is the right size. Okay, so I think my little hearts are dry. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut them out. Now you can either use scissors or an X Acto knife or whatever you're comfortable with. I think I'm Awesome.
Alrighty, so I've decided that I'm going to use this product as a top coat. It's made by Triart. It's called Top Coat Hard and it's a 100% pure acrylic suitable for use on rigid substrates only. And it tells me to apply with a soft brush in thin successive coats. So here we go. Um, I was able to remove the um, these parts. They just basically screwed off. But this one does not have much of a um, a lip, so not sure how well this one's going to work as far as being able to dome it. But this one should work well. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's just the first coat, so I shall leave it to dry, and it says 12 to 24 hours, so that's what I shall do. Okay, so after two coats, um, not real happy with the way this one's looking. It's lumpy and it pulled away from the edges a little bit. I think I tried to put a bit too thick of a second coat on it. Not following the instructions. This one actually though looks pretty good. I think one more coat will do it. I don't know, maybe two. 